today? Would it still be called hypocrisy? Yeah, or, or well, yeah. Or maybe, <laughs> maybe, uh, maybe criminality. Maybe, yeah, I, 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 want, I don't want to get myself in trouble here because I, there's so many things I want to say about that. But uh, it's okay, so. we are in Canada, so um, I have a feeling they could find me anyway. Uh, but um, the, the idea that, no, on, the, on a serious note, the idea because I'm uh, a person of faith, I believe in the, in the mission of helping immigrants, feeding the poor, sacrificial love, you know, community over individuality. What was very troubling was to see people on the far right of spirituality enable someone to become president that was the farthest thing from any sense of right or wrong or anything that I believe in. So that was very tough to watch. Um, and then it kept getting worse. And uh, that's, I mean, I know everybody's entitled to their own opinion. I don't want to offend anybody, but for us, uh, and uh, it's been really, really troublesome to see the idea of any kind of truth or uh, uh, any kind of moral fiber or, uh, be destroyed. So how do you take all of that, and that, that anxiety, that, that, that fear, that trepidation, how do you take that and put it into a piece of music. And, and what you came up with, maybe you can talk a little bit about the journey that you're gonna take yeah. this the audience on. Well, um, I'm also uh, a very big fan of, uh, you know, tonal music, it's a lyric piece, even though it's a little stretched harmonically. So I took what may sound to you like a hymn tune, but then took the harmony and, and really made it thorny to show that something was not right. You know, something that I hold dear or been best with, you know. So um, that's part of it. So I, I was trying to make something lyrical so that there was a melody that would register, but the harmonic thing, I learned this from Wayne too, if you write a strong melody harmonically, he shows us that you can do whatever you want if you, if you, if you can voice it. As long as the melody is lyrical, people can receive that melody Harmonically, if you've spent enough time with your ears and, and studying deep harmonic music, which is so much in, in the classical repertoire and certainly in jazz, then you have some freedom now. But then uh, I mixed it, the, the faster movement that's inside this one movement thing uh, is related to some material uh, from another thing that I wrote called Agitato, which was so there's this juxtaposition of the lyricism of the hymn tune and then this this very fiery little thing that starts to happen and then the rhythm section goes in and it's, it's powerful, it's more powerful. And uh, part of that, that's a mixture too because I wanted to also show that there was hope, not just darkness out there. And, and in, in the piece, there's a fair amount of the trio playing, the improvising yes. alone yes. Uh, and then improvising with with yes. the orchestra, yes. orchestra along as well, yes. and then coming back and forth. Uh, and so how much of, of the trio uh, part of the piece is really improvised, and, and how much is it? Completely a thousand percent. The trio is always improvised. These guys so, are some of the like, greatest. Like Zuck here, yes. no, no two nights, no two rehearsals are going to be the same. Yeah, every time we played it this week, in, this, in the last few days, it's been completely different. Uh, Danilo was unbelievable as an improviser, as a musician, as a composer. Brian, the same, unbelievable. I mean, I've been around these guys. And I, I had the luxury of being with Wayne since 86. And I saw when they came into the group, you know, around 2000, and saw his reaction. All of a sudden, he started bringing new things. And, and you know, I, I just, I'll just tell a, a quick story about what he really means and what Zakir, I think, means about real improvisation, because a lot of jazz musicians improvise, a lot of Indian classical musicians improvise, but what they do is on a, a, another level. So uh, I, I presented Wayne Shorter and the quartet uh, in Philadelphia, this is probably 13, 14 years ago. Uh, Wayne had just come, come off of having pneumonia, so he hadn't played in a while. Um, didn't really know if he could blow his horn as, as, as much as he would have to in a concert, it was gonna be an experiment. Danilo, I remember, was really, really sick, you know, like 102 fever or something, but the, it was sold out concert. So we're standing just off the stage. Uh, I'm ready to come out and do my 
introduction. And Danilo had a piano back there, and he was just kind of warming up his fingers. And he played some kind of a really weird 11th chord with a flat of seventh, and a, I don't know what it was. But I remember Wayne Shorter said, Danilo, that's where we start. And they walked on stage, he played that same chord, and about 90 minutes later, the concert was over. So they played one entire song, if you want to call it that, starting from that chord, and never played anything that they'd ever played anywhere else before, uh, and working off each other. And what I love what we see you, and, and the same thing happens with Indian improvised music, the, the musicians are always looking at each other because you might have a great idea, and you're just about to play it, but then the sitar player plays a little something different, and you have to like reverse back up do something else. And I see that with you guys all the time. Danilo's just about to, oh, no, John did something else, so now I'll do this. And, and, and Brian played on the drums. And that's really 100% true improvisation. It's not riffs that are kind of going through a catalog of riffs. No, it's community. It's community, and that's what Wayne talks about, too. It's spontaneous composition. And you can't do that alone. You can't put the individual over the group, which is also part of what I'm trying to say in the piece. Community is how we fix it. The other thing, the last time you played here with Wayne, you, you had done something you know, magical in, in a bass run, I remember. And Wayne came up to, to John afterwards and said, hey, John, I, I love what you did in that little section. Don't ever do it again. Yeah. 